Hello, this discussion will be based on solving systems of linear equations using Gauss-Jordan elimination. So the first thing that we should be able to do is to create an augmented matrix given a system of equations as in example one. So I know that my augmented matrix will have to have three rows and four columns. And all I do is simply write the coefficients without the variables. So the first coefficient I have is 5, then negative 8. Notice I'm keeping the sign attached. 5 is the next. And then we draw a vertical line to represent all of the equal signs and continue copying the numbers. So the second row will be 1, negative 2, 7, and 5. And now in this third row, you could see over here there is not a 0x term written in there. However, I still need to hold that place when I create the augmented matrix, so I'll put a 0 in that position. 1 and negative 5 is equal to negative 6. So, on the left, I have the x, y, and z coefficients and then on the right I have what I will call the right hand side or the constants. Feel free to pause this video at any time or rewind and go back to see what you missed. Okay so if we can go from a system of equations to the matrix representation of it as we did in example one, then we should be able to go from a matrix representation to a system of equations. Once again, we have a zero in our matrix. So if I wanted, I could represent this first equation with zero x plus three y plus two z equals four, or technically I wouldn't have to write that zero x. The second equation corresponding to the second row of the matrix is x minus y minus 2z equals negative 3. And finally in the third row I have 4x, oh, 0y. I could or could not write this 0y to hold the place. Either way it wouldn't make a difference. As long as you remember that there is no y term there and set that equal to 2. So we went from our coefficients and right hand side of our augmented matrix to a system of equations.